everybody, I'm Tim Bulot. Welcome to Training to Survive, Season 2, Special Edition 1. Why is this a special edition? Well, it's not going to be a typical show. This is just a short, six, seven minutes long. It's part one of a four-part series involving an interview with Master Sean Kelly. Now, Elaine and I just recently returned from Florida where we were invited to attend the Zen of Kempo uh, event that was organized and hosted by Master Sean Kelly and Training to Survive was there with our cameras to capture some content. We came back with eight hours. We got a lot of editing to do. So we wanted to get this out just to kind of break the ice and get the ball rolling along on what, what, this, what this event entails. What is it all about? So first of all, let me say, it was such an honor to attend this event, not only to film the event, but to be invited to instruct in the event. It was a very humbling situation as in, you know, a lot of these events, you have one instructor trying to outdo the other instructor. There was none of that here. Fantastic instructors all working together to share their wealth of knowledge with the uh, the students and that credit goes to none other than Master Sean Kelly. He organizes this event. This is the fifth year of it and what can I say about Master Kelly? Well not only is he a gentleman's gentleman, he's a who's who in the martial arts, but the man knows Kempo. He knows the system and he can move to back it up. And not only can he move to back up his Kempo, he can back up his event as well. This was a feature-packed activity-packed three-day weekend with multiple events within the events all happening at the same time and the coordination was unbelievable. Mr. Kelly had us right on track, right on clock, right on the money and he kept he kept the momentum, he kept this thing moving along. So anyway, we're gonna let Master Kelly explain to you the, the concept, the, the overarching theme behind the Zen of Kempo uh, a little bit about each of the instructors. So let's go right now to part one of four, just a one-on-one -on -one sit down with Master Sean Kelly. This is the fifth year anniversary of the Zen of Kempo. Started in 2018, what an idea uh, between myself, Master Reiner Schulte and life coach uh, Jossie Gonzalez. And what it was is because I've been a promoter of doing martial arts venues for over 30 years in South Florida. I used to do what was called the Florida Kempo Camps. Um, we started doing a smaller, like a, almost like a VIP get together, bring in people that have been involved with this for 20 or 30 years or new, either way. But the group is an older group. You know, they're the mature age now. And so we created the theme that was going to be based on mind, body, and, and spirit as a, as a martial human. And as a leader as a, a, of an organization and also as an international instructor, I started realizing that someone needed to, to create something to give balance and to teach and, and instruct them on the benefits of their art uh, for health and wellness. Slow down. The dynamic part has been there since day one. We'll always do that probably when we're in class or when we want to blast out a move to boxing, kicking, hitting, falling, all that. But the recovery is slower. You've got to go back to work come Monday. And so the Zen was about, okay, we had a lot of people who contacted me and said, you know, Mr. Kelly, you know, I just can't keep up with the moves anymore. I don't, and I feel bad about stepping out or not stepping in because I've injured my knee, my back, my neck. I've had surgery. Uh, we had one lady who was one of my uh, student directors come this week, and I hadn't seen her in probably about 15, 20 years, and she had recently brain surgery. So it's now teaching them how to use their art slower and for health and wellness, range of motion, continued flexibility, circulation, and retain some balance, and to work cognitively the benefits of working the thought process, and to give them something to go home with. And if they're facilitating and coaching a student, a friend, it doesn't matter, Kempo people, martial arts people in whole, just let's look at the martial arts as a community. We're a different breed. We give. We walk a walk called intentional in our living. 
John Maxwell, who's my boss, but he's a well-known speaker, lecturer, author, talks about being intentional. Wake up being grateful, thankful, and feeling blessed. Help somebody else. Well, if we're developing seasoned black belts, we should reinforce the spirit of what that stands for. And to be part of the change in our world, not part of the problem. Step up and let's teach you how to not only communicate and be better at your skills, especially when you go first, second, third, up the ladder of progression, but to have the ability to connect and reconnect and bring back you know, the vibration of positive thinking. So leadership, empowerment, the feel good, tap into the, the happy serotonin and to make them feel good. Like when you were doing your class, they're like, man, he just said it in a way I understood it. I don't have to be so academic and, and follow the script. And that is just to use it as a toolbox reference. Then after that, make it work. But we as coaches have to tell them individually, this is how you do it. This is my best way to teach you because of this, that all the way down. And sometimes that's going to be changed later on down the road because of an injury. So that's what the Zen started off with. And then with our schedule, as you see, we have different facilitators. And each one are experts at what they do, what they've experienced. And each one has a particular profound story, case in point. Who doesn't know Superfoot Bill Wallace? Mr. Wallace and I have been friends since 1986. He's been coming to Florida. His background not only as a retired middleweight world champion, as working for the kickboxing industry, the PKA, he has a degree in both kinesiology and physiology of science. He tells you how and the why, how the legs work, how the, your anatomical body structure, okay? And here's a guy who has, he's only able to kick on one side because he had an injury to his right side when he was doing judo. So he used his own, I don't want to call it a disability, but a challenge of, this is all I can do, a side kick, hook kick, roundhouse on this side, jab, hook, okay, and an uppercut. So what he did is he, fa he worked his left side entirely to the point at 77 years old, he gives hope to the individuals, even after two hip replacements, doing splits. To the point it's like, never say never. And this is all he does because this is his passion, this is his world. He's, he's, he's one of our top mentors. All right, and that is going to conclude Training to Survive Special Edition 1 in Season 2 as we wrap that interview up with some highlights of the, of the instructors sharing their knowledge with the student. So as I said, this is part one of four. There's more to follow with Sean Kelly. You're going to want to turn into that as he is a wealth of knowledge and information. And also we were able to sit down with all of these instructors, Milena and I, and we got some top interviews with these uh, instructors and these presenters. And we will have them featured individually in future training to survive shows. So y'all hang in there with us because there's a lot more in the way. So anyway, take care. Y'all have a great week out there. We'll be back shortly. We got a big SWAT class coming up next week. So we're going to attend to that. And then when that's done, we're gonna get right back to uh, training to survive in the martial arts, bringing you more great content. Y'all take care.